day guys and girls us today and fucking news flash news flash now for those of you who don't know um, well, I'm, a, I'm sorry I'm getting a little tiny violin out at the moment but basically <laughs> for those of you who don't know my uh, desktop computer is at this moment in time broken uh, it's overheating like a motherfucker I've tried all kinds of stuff and the only thing left looks like I'm gonna have to buy an actual new water block for my computer but in the meantime I've been using my uh, laptop we get amongst it and it, it's good because to be honest at this moment in time I'm having to think outside the box to actually get games uh, videos and all that kind of stuff running so I can give it to you guys and one of the things I came across in my search for knowledge, bountiful knowledge, was um, the Wii and GameCube emulation. Now, don't get me fucking wrong. I know. I've been around the block a few fucking times. Dolphin is how you emulate Wii and GameCube. And to be honest, it's come on leaps and bounds. I mean, up until, what, 12 months ago or something like that, I literally had to get on the phone, phone up NASA, and say, look, Mr. NASA, do you mind if I hook him into your fucking supercomputer to play a bit of fucking Mario Galaxy because that was the only way you could do it. Basically, Dolphin emulation was very good and it opened the doors for all kinds of stuff. However, it needed so much CPU that basically you were either had to overclock or have some fucking crazy powerful computer to get it running properly because you needed, what, 4 gigs plus? And at that time, you know... It was expensive to get a CPU with that kind of capabilities. Um, obviously, time has moved on. The team's developed a hell of a lot. And so has the emulator. It's got it down to the stage now where, yes, y you will need a proper full-on PC. Uh, but it's nowhere near the kind of requirements that it needed back in the day, say, 12 months ago. And to be honest, it is developing on a daily basis. Anyway, enough of, off topic there. What we're looking at today is something that I came across and it's a, a new extension from Dolphin. Now it's been out for a few months so some of you may know all about it however in the last few days it's been developed even more. Uh, I believe the last update was on the 2nd of July 2015 at the time of me actually recording this obviously. If this is the future then it'll be a different date. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now the new version or the new branch from the Dolphin is the Ishiruka. Ishiruka. I think that's Japanese or something like that, most probably. It sounds it. My apologies for my ignorance to different people's cultures and languages. Um, <laughs> it's just my interpretation of that name. I've got no idea where the name comes from. But fuck me, it is a welcome sight. Basically, what they've done is they've managed to tone down the actual requirements needed for Dolphin uh, this, in terms of CPU because like I said the CPU had to be fucking mega high to play it back in the day it's improved 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 to where you need like I don't know a, a few gigahertz to, to get it running and to be honest on modern day computers you wouldn't struggle with that um, I struggle on my laptop or I did struggle on my laptop until this tips up because basically like I said it's taken down the requirements it's enabled um, a lot lesser uh, CPUs to actually play it obviously if you're playing PC games and things like that it's all GPU intensive if you're doing emulation 95% of the time it's all CPU intensive so you know having a, a decent CPU is very important now what they've done is they've tweaked things fuck knows what they've done um, but they've done a lot and basically it allows me to play fucking Mario Galaxy on my laptop something I've never been able to do before and that's how good I know that this build is going now I've looked into it even further and they've, they've blown it out the park basically they've made it so you can play smoothly as well 4k resolution um, Wii games I mean fuck me I mean I was struggling honest to god I was struggling to play the bare basic games on the Wii with my old builds of Dolphin. Now, after you know loading this up and firing up a few games, I can get most of it to run. Well, I can get all of my games to run on my laptop. Now, if I had my desktop, I know for a start I could smash this up to fucking 4K resolution 
um, all the different um, screen hacks and things like that going on and it blows it out the park now yeah this is what we're looking at this is the uh, actual website link down below if you want to have a look at yourself but um, this is the branch that I'm talking about here they're going through they've done all kinds of hacks to it but the main ones are the actual CPU intensitivity and a few more features that they've actually brought into the Dolphin package now I'm sure that this will be now starting to develop into the actual mainstream build of Dolphin because that's what normally happens I mean they did it before with the H HLE uh, the Z freeze and all that kind of stuff uh, to get the the various games working now this is gonna blow it out of the park I reckon and well let's actually have a look at the actual install so let's fire it up and I'll show you what I'm talking about it tells you everything that's going on here I mean basically like I said they've uh, optimized a hell of a lot of stuff that's going on let's get it loaded fucking hell yapping on like a motherfucker here first off by the way let's actually do this if you're downloading this for the first time and you haven't got much experience with uh, Dolphin first thing you should always do is make a new text doc document port and uh, just rename it to portable it doesn't have to be anything in the text it's a completely blank document or at least it should be but just make a text document and make it portable that means that whenever I then load a dolphin it will make any changes in it will basically make a config file within this folder rather than in my registry so you know any changes made to this one won't affect any other variations and builds I have on my computer in terms of dolphin so you know big one to look out for there I'm sure you all know all this information anyway anyway let's load this bad boy up and let's have a look at the settings now most of it yep yeah, all the same as normal interface um, I've turned all these off because basically they do my tits in and also if you go to run it through hyperspin or any other front end or emulating um, features then basically they don't like little confirm to stops and shit like that I also don't like panic handlers and I don't like messages on my display um, same things as normal here uh, and here and here however when we then go into the actual um, setups of the graphics uh, first thing you want to be looking at is the OpenGL version of this has come on leaps and bounds so if you are going to be playing this first setting you want to be putting onto is OpenGL obviously I'm sure you've all been around the block a few times with Dolphin and GameCube and Wii emulation some games require different settings however I would say 95% of them run very smoothly now on OpenGL um, same as normal down here however when we then go into the enhancements tab Oh, a new little kettle of fish has opened up and look at what we've got here basically internal resolution as you can see I'm running it on native because I'm on my laptop basically I'm just fucking lucky and I'm, I'm counting on the gods of uh, Nintendo and Gamecube and Wii and they're ever fucking gods I can think of to actually get me to run this on my laptop I never thought it'd be possible um, but the native resolution now goes up to uh, <laughs> 5k resolution it's fucking outstanding well 4k resolution should I say um, it's fucking amazing I, I, I didn't think it would be possible and I've actually seen videos of people running this very smoothly on yes high end rigs but nothing that's you know fucking, they're not talking about thousands of pounds worth of rigs uh, we're talking about people who just souped it up and overclocked the CPUs a little bit um, yeah fucking awesome 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 um, all the normal stuff but then as you come down here even more shit going down uh, basically they've added post processing effects so basically you can give your games lots of different shaders uh, some of them you know fucking wank some of them actually do make things a lot better especially when you start looking at the um, uh, dolphin effects the depth of field one that they've brought in 16-bit uh, 32-bit when you're playing different games and you apply these kind of settings to your games then especially depth of field when you're playing a first person kind of thing not only does it make it look a thousand times better but it actually emphasizes the game that you're playing you know better than the Wii 
could in the first place. So not not only are you improving the graphics, but you're actually improving it more than it was actually developed in the first place. If that makes any fucking sense. But trust me, play I don't know Golden Eye or whatever it is, the new one on the Wii, and then put Death of Field on or Call of Duty or something like that on. Fucking awesome! It adds so much atmos atmospherics to the game. It blows it out of the park. Um, yeah, and you know have a play with these. You know heart's content. Uh, once you've enabled something then you can actually go in there and start configuring it play with all kinds of shit so there's a lot to play with in this one and to be honest it doesn't really affect I mean the one that I play with I think the only one that really blew it out blew my computer to its knees was the dolphin effects and the Ishurikara effects again excuse my fucking pronunciation uh, yeah but you know have a play they've brought it in and to be honest it fucking makes it a lot better um, hacks, I can see there's a new hack that's been in, faster EFB, I mean I've not updated my master build for a while so this could have been, you know, put as normal by now, and also uh, where have we got come out of here graphics advanced, no wrong one, is it audio yeah, basically you can start doing your CPU overclock and stuff like that, I know that that was in previous standard builds of Dolphin um, I've never actually implemented it, so I don't know what kind of shit that brings to the party, but yeah, it's another option for people. But the main feature that I've seen is the ability to have a low end CPU. I mean, I'm running what? I'm touching um, just under 2 gigahertz, and I'm playing fucking Super Mario Galaxy on my laptop, which normally overheats like a motherfucker. And I'm laughing. The computer's laughing at it. At native resolution, of course. But yeah, it's fucking laughing at it. So, there you go. Let, let's actually show you some of the gameplay then. Yeah, so this is uh, Super Mario Sunshine. As per normal, fucking awesome game. Get stuck in. I encourage you to do so if you haven't already. And, to be honest, it's playing it no problem whatsoever. I've... Um, zero stuttering, zero frame lag. You used to get little stutters with the speech, music, sound effects, all that kind of stuff. I've not seen it in this. Uh, there is actually settings in your, I think it's in your config, where you can warp the uh, music. I've not had to do it, but I know that tick box is now there, a new one, and that actually enables you to stretch the music or the sound effects, or the sound, or whatever it is. Um, I've not played with it too much, but I know that's there. But to be honest, I've not had to do it with this game. Very good indeed. So, yep, that's a bit of Mario uh, Sunshine. <laughs> and also, I have been playing a bit of Super Mario Galaxy. Fucking awesome game. This is the second one, Super Mario Galaxy 2. And, yeah, you know, having these features, uh, these graphic stuff, come into the action now being able to play this on my laptop awesome but the good thing is that no longer does this have to be played on the supercomputer uh, people with the everyday computers you know they got banged in the cabs um, lower end PCs you don't need that uh, sorry you don't need supercomputers anymore to play uh, Wii and GameCube it's fucking awesome news so hats off to you guys over at the uh, What's it called? Ishiruga? Ishiruga. Um, yeah, hats off to you guys. You really have pulled it out of the bag. Um, I cannot uh, compliment you enough for all the work that you have done there. Again, guys, uh, links in the bottom below. Again, in the actual website that I'm linking you to, you can download the emulators. There's loads of different versions there. I'm sure you will find one that suits your computer, be able to get it up and running. Don't get me wrong, don't even bother if you've got like a fucking Pentium 2 or something, or some kind of Celeron processor, because no, you, you're probably not going <laughs> to still get it working. You do need an actual computer with a bit of oomph in it. Um, I've only tested this on my uh, Intel um, laptop which normally overheats when I'm playing fucking Minesweeper but you know everyone's computer is different we all know that emulation is a funny old game and it may have different uh, effects on you guys so it's a short but sweet one I've probably waffled loads of shit but hopefully I've opened your eyes and if you haven't already seen it I've introduced you to Itaruga 
the dolphin emulator. So, thanks a lot guys, make sure you share this, subscribe, do all the normal shit that people do with YouTube stuff, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.